Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a book haul. I picked up a few books in the month of May and June, so I'm going to share them with you. Um, so I know this video probably isn't going to be long, but I just want to share with you guys instead of doing it in a vlog because not many people watch my vlogs, so I want to do a dedicated video to it. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and let's get started. <laughs> I feel like I bought more books. This is a stack of books. Some of them you already know because I shared them in the vlog, but I'm just going to add it because I did buy them at the end of May and in June. So, so I went to Barnes & Noble about two weeks ago. I didn't really film it because it was so crowded and I get a little shy. So I did not film it, sadly. I just picked up two books, so you guys should be proud of me. And they are the Sarah J Mass A Core of Thorns and Roses collection. I read these books last year and I cannot wait to re read them again, but I bought the first two because I lended the first two books out to a friend and I never got them back and it's been over a year. It was making me sad looking at my bookshelf and seeing a few books missing. So I just went and picked up the first two books and this book is a five star. This one is a five star. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do another reading vlog and reread these because it was just so good. Okay, the next three I bought at the same time. The first one is called Sinner by Sierra Simone. And this is about, I'm not a good man and I've never pretended to be. I don't believe in God, goodness or God or any happy ending that, is, that isn't paid for in advance. What do I believe in? Money, sex, McAllen, 18. They have words for men like me. Playboy, womanizer, skirt chaser. My brother used to be a priest and he only has one word, sinner. So this is gonna be interesting. I saw this at Barnes & Noble because I wanted to pick up a adult romance book and there wasn't really any good ones on the shelves but this one was like on the outer tables and it really stood out to me. I love the color green and just look how beautiful this cover is. So, um, I just, I can't wait to read it. And the next book that I bought during this time is Verity by Colleen Hoover. This is very popular right now. She's been trending for like, I want to say almost a year now consecutively. Her books are really good. Um, even though I've only read one and I gave it like a 2.5 or maybe a three star, which was Ugly Love. I have another one. It ends with us, but I have not read it. <laughs> So I definitely need to read that one. But I also heard this one is so good. So I picked it up. And I'm really happy that it is a smaller book. So I can definitely read this in one day. Yeah, it's all the rave right now. And I'm very interested in reading this. This says, Lowen Ashley is a struggling writer on the brink of financial ruin when she accepts a job of a lifetime. Jeremy Crawford, husband of the best-selling author Verity Crawford, has hired Lowen to complete the remaining book in a successful series his injured wife is unable to finish. Lowen arrives at the Crawford home ready to sort through years of Verity's notes and outlines hoping to f find enough material to get her started. When Lowen doesn't expect to uncover the chaotic office is an unfinished autobiography Very Verity never intended for anyone to read. Page after page of bone chilling admissions including Verity's recollection of the night her family was forever altered. Lowen decides to keep the manuscript hidden from Jeremy knowing its contents and could devastate the already grieving father, but as Lowen's feelings for Jeremy begin to intensify, she recognizes all the ways she could benefit if he were to read his wife's words. After all, no matter how devoted Jeremy is to his injured wife, a truth with this horrifi horrifying would make it impossible for him to continue loving her. This sounds so good. So, and the last one that I just picked up is A Little Life. I've been wanting to read this for a year now, but I am not mentally prepared for it, honestly. My mental health is just now getting better, so I don't want to read it yet, but I just needed to pick this up because every time I walk into Barnes & Noble, I pick this up, look at it, read it, and then I set it down. I've done this like four times, and I finally pulled the trigger and picked it up. So, you all know this book is super devastating. There's a bunch of triggers, a lot of abuse, different kinds of abuse. So this book is not for the faint of heart. You really need to go in with a strong mind and be ready to be torn apart basically. 
and have a mental health counselor on speed dial after it basically because it will ruin you for a week or however long so i do plan to read this possibly during the fall or end of summer um we'll see how my mental health is but yeah if you like my stack of books because i do all right the last books are the ones i bought from amazon as you know i have been reading off my kindle because i have gotten the three month free kindle unlimited so i have been reading books non-stop beat my reading goal of 20 books this year i'm on i think like 30 or 35 that's exciting sorry i am just like choking on my words um I literally dropped my camera yesterday on the ground from my car and I had to like try to clean it off and try to get the lens cover to un get unjammed so I'm trying to be very careful I don't even want to show you because you already know I want to get a tattoo of this but yeah the Ravenhood series by Kate Stewart you already know the best series I have read in a long time it broke me, I fell in love, and it healed my soul again. I read these on Kindle and I loved it so much, I bought the books. And that's what I'm basically doing right now. I have not been able to pick up a paperback book, paperback book in a few months. I don't know why, like every time I go to pick it up, I put it down. I don't know. So all the books that I have been reading lately, I will probably end up buying in paperback because they are so good. But this series, I highly recommend the best series so far and it's on my top for the best series of 2022 all right guys so this is the huge stack of books that I bought in the last two months I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you've read any of these or if you have plans to read any of them let me know down below I like to talk to you guys I like to chat with you guys in the comments Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.